Merry Christmas and welcome to this paper 5 advanced performance management and um, let me give you a personal Christmas gift for this paper 5 in order to help with the exam so this is a mnemonic for the business process re-engineering so sometimes that the examiner will ask you okay please lay out the steps for the BPR it's the business process re-engineering so I'm gonna use my own mnemonics for this it's called Wasenne to help you do that. So business process re-engineering is an example of the business process improvement. So of course we've looked at uh, the Porter's value chain analysis before. So for example we've got different activities for example the inbound logistics operation marketing. So those activities can be grouped into the departments and surely within each of these departments there will be different processes of doing the work. So that's what I mean by business process here. So in order to improve that business process we've got lots of ways to do that but basically either we are using the human beings or we're going to allow the computer to do that. So by whatever way that we are going to choose that will be the example of the improvement of the business process. But we can argue that if we were to forget about the past and we're going to start from zero, which means the blank page. So if that's the case then, if you decide to start with the blank page, that would be the business process re-engineering. And basically speaking, is you're going to get rid of the existing process, for example, those will be the human work, you get, get rid of them. We're going to allow the computers to do that for you. Okay, absolutely fine. So the steps within the business process re-engineering, I'm going to use a mnemonic for this, it's called Vassini. So the first V stands for, you're going to first of all define the vision, which means what you're going to achieve. For example, increase the efficiency, reduce the waste. Secondly, you're going to determine the scope of the project. For example, how many, how many staff will be affected by a new proposal. You're going to analyze the existing process to identify any problems that have occurred. So you're going to eliminate them into the future. And then decide the new process in order to arrive at the final vision. And finally, you're going to implement them. A best way to show this, of course, is to look at the real question. That's the case study. So this question is called uh, Macham Company. So let's see then. So Macham Limited has employed 30 staff to match the goods received notes to the invoice related to different goods after goods has arrived. Okay, so that means the existing process is just to be the human work. So that may cause us a question, for example, causes a concern that uh, human errors may exist. So, next paragraph, for those goods where the goods received notes invoices are not matched, they will be sent back to the suppliers and surely company has incurred lots of these transportation costs related to this. And hence our aim is to reduce the quality costs and that's the reason why uh, we use the BPR, process, uh, we BPR approach to improve the business processes. And 40% of the time spent by the staff into investigating those unmatched invoices as well and surely we can implement it using the computer. So that would be the design of the new process. And as you can see, if you summarize it together, for example, if we were to allow the computer to do that, so if we were to allow the computer to do that, rather than allowing the staff to do that, so that would be an example of the business process re-engineering. So, first of all, we're sending. 
vision is to decrease the quality cost and the scope for projects particularly that we are dealing with to match the invoices as well as the goods received note and then we're gonna I mean analyze the existing process I mean human work incurred lots of these expenses attached to it and then we're gonna design the new process we're gonna develop the computer system so that means we first of all enter the details into the system so when the goods arrived of course they will have the barcodes in there so we're going to scan the barcode and it automatically check the barcode with the detail within that computer system automatically and generate for example the goods received notes as well as the invoices so by doing this all we need to do from a human being's perspective is what we're going to I mean insert the details of those goods into the system before they arrive so when they arrive if they do not match with the order details within our system uh, we are not uh, going to accept this good and hence we don't have to incur the transportation cost as a result and finally we're going to implement this for example we're going to contact the supplier and manage the change appropriately as well so that's how we apply the Vecini, okay mnemonic into the BPR approach and hope you are happy with this gift PC, accounting for your future.